Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome to Lords of Magic. Alright, so, here's what's gonna happen. We're doing a nice Let's Play. Now, I've already got the teaser where you can see the first battle, which was just taking this. But we are gonna play Lords of Magic, and we're playing on hard difficulty. And we're playing just with a Lord of Order, a warrior Lord of Order named Alfred. And here's our footman, here's our crossbowman, and we're just going to go for it. So turn one, we did that fight. I think our next fight is going to have to be that. Now we could walk or stay in here. I, I don't know, if we, if we stay in here, will we not be able to make that walk? What do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we'll make it. So let's just stay here for the turn. All right, we're hitting that lovely end turn. We're going to go through everybody. And then back to us order. There you go. Yeah, just staying in a building should heal you a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully the sound is good. Let me know if the sound's off or something. I, I played with it so that my voice is a little bit louder than the game. So, real quick, a couple of things to know for battles in this game. This is just the vanilla version of Lords of Magic Special Edition, okay? This is the game that you can get on GOG.com. Uh, that's where I have it. I have it through GOG. It's a fantastic game. I actually have the box for it. I loved this game when I was a kid. Yes. I think my mom bought it for me for like 20 bucks when I was a little kid. Great game. Best buy ever. Anyways, so here's what we have. Now you got your stats, your attack, your defense, your health, your ranged attack, and then your actual range. So the top, the six there. Yeah, I guess I should be telling you. Uh, down here, this, this is, the top one is your ranged attack, and that's your actual range of attack, if you will. Anyways, moral of the story is, a couple of quick things that most people don't really know about this game, and it's, it's not like they, there, there was a beautiful manual, like 300 pages or something, but the, the biggest secret to it is, is this, is you select a unit, first off, when you select these, these multiple units, it'll select all three of them, but if you hold down control, and then click, you can select an individual unit. Now, why is this important? Well, then you can click defend and tell him to defend himself. Okay? What does this do? Well, if you tell him to defend himself, it's going to take half of his attack value and transfer that into defense value, bringing his defense to 11. Now, he's not going to attack anyone if he's doing that, but that's a super, super useful strategy that really yes. is how you survive the early game, especially on harder difficulties. Ready. Uh, there's another thing here, aimed missile as well, which... My understanding is I'm not sure exactly how much more it gets. I think might maybe it adds like one, you know, half of it on or something. Probably that's how everything else seems to work. But aim to missile just it'll take much longer to hit. It'll try to shoot it where the character is moving, and then it'll just do much more damage. So there you go. Now as for this guy, he is level three, which is actually really useful for Alfred being level three because when you do rally troops, watch what happens. Everyone should get. Yeah, plus one to all of their, their attack and their defense. This is especially useful, obviously, for melee troops. So you might want to, if you make bigger armies, stick all your melee troops with a high-level paladin. This uh, bonus is only going to apply to units of the same type. So in this case, order units. Uh, units is the same type as the champion. And it's also only going to apply to units that are lower level. So if, he, if, Alfred, if Alfred were level two... Uh, he would only be giving a plus one attack and defense to the crossbowman, which isn't that useful, though the defense is still helpful for them if they're getting shot at. Yes. All right. Now, since these guys are all just uh, level one goblin archers, and if you if you wait for it to pop up, it'll tell you what level they are, but I can also recognize that because they have six attack. So it looks like they're coming straight for us. He's slow, but... If he gets in on it, these guys are doomed. And they probably won't do very much damage to him. Yeah, let's watch. Where are they actually shooting? Okay, so they're shooting this guy. So, quickly set him on defense. And he should be okay. Those guys can keep walking. I'm going to just select them down here. All three of them can move forward and start shooting. Yeah, so he should be okay. He's got 24 hit points right now. I don't actually expect him to go much down. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, they are, they're using aimed missiles, so what I'm going to do now is quickly defend him. Oh, no, make sure you're clicking on him. You can see what you're mousing over, so he's going to defend himself, and hopefully he'll survive slightly better against those. This is lovely because uh, shooting people in the back also does more damage. There we go. Nice. Oh, 
That looks like that's going for him. Yeah, it won't make much difference, but maybe it will, so I'll do it. Nice. I really think the, the early game for Order, they've already got really high defense, but high attack as well. So you just kind of want to, you know, try to not take a lot of damage and then use these guys to kill or whoever's not being attacked to kill. Yes. Yeah, this might be a level three, so I don't know if we can handle it. At any rate, we might even want to spend two turns here, just kind of getting that. The art of thieving can be learned, In yeah? terms of but hiring mercenaries... This will run our money out pretty quickly, but actually it's, it's a good way to go. We can't train any units because we don't have followers. And we're only going to get followers after we take the Great Temple, which is somewhere up here. So I'm thinking let's hire them sooner rather than later. And then we'll bring that much more devastation to the field. I do think that the footmen are, are quite powerful, and so obviously we could, we could look into something like this. Hiring knights or hiring uh, footmen. But at this stage in the game, I just think we're going to get more mileage out of just having more ranged killing power. So that these guys will go forward and then the crossbowmen will really, like, kill people. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Alright, let's end turn. I, I, I hope this will work. What I'm thinking of doing is... Yeah, we're going to hit that once our turn goes all the way around. There we go. So I want them to spend one more turn because then they'll heal a little bit better. So I want to I would like to hire a unit of crossbowmen and sort of walk them over, I guess. Maybe here so then we can walk down to them and then move in there. We'll see. We'll see if this works. Now that's obviously we're going to run out of money really quickly here. But I still think it might be worth it. How much for a hound? Oh, only one per turn. That might actually be worthwhile, too. Just so we get some more exploring going. The art of there's, there's no training hounds, is there? Yeah, they're just summoned creatures. Nice. Yeah, so that's what yes. I kind of figured, more or less. I think that'll work. Yeah, so you can see now they, they healed quite a bit. It's this. I think this is a fairly common practice in games like this, but the first turn they don't heal as much as the second turn, because in the first turn they moved, and then when you make them wait a second turn, now they're inside a building and they haven't moved. Then they gain a lot more health back. So you can see that everyone's fully healed from taking that two-turn break. Now, I did this mostly because I wanted that and I want that. And I think this is going to be a level three outpost. The distance from the town center is the level. This one was level one, so I'm assuming that's going to be level three. Uh, level two is only for estates. These ones go from like one, three, and five. And these are just things that you pick up as the game goes. Was I right? I was wrong. Okay, so it is level one. Good. <laughs> oh, after all that. The next one will probably be level three then, hopefully. So that's good, though. Level one is good because it looks like it'll be all it takes to level up one of our archer units. Now here, let's take a look at this. So two and four, two and four. Rally troops, three and five. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's have them wait way. there for a second. Let's bring... These guys forward as well. Um, yeah, I think more or less there's there's not much need to strategize on a map like yes. this. Really with 8-3 level 1 wolf riders there, that's not really a problem. Now I am using the arrow keys to scroll. It's just a little bit faster. Um, it doesn't look as smooth naturally, but I like it. I think they're shooting at the paladin, so let's defend. Oh, I was totally wrong. For honor and glory. Nice. For yeah, I honestly think the, the paladin should be fine. Let him have it, lad. Oops, my bad. Got this beautiful line yeah. of crossbows not doing anything. Now, who are they? You can tell that they're aiming their shots. That's got to be the paladin. Was it? I don't know. So he's defending. Oh, come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Are you shooting at this guy? Nope. I don't know. They must have been shooting at the, uh, the footman, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, that was great. I'm surprised that we did not gain a level from that. 
but we did gain enough gold to keep going. That sucks that we didn't... They did. Oh, they did. Yeah, no, they did gain a level. It didn't say that they did, but they did. There it is. So they're level 2 now, so that goes up to... That's a big jump. That's 3 range damage per shot. That's huge. These guys will be level 3 soon. He's doing great. What's his sword? Sword of quality. Wow. Damage in combat by 1. Cool. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more. I... Yes. Call me crazy, but I think I am going to... Summon a hound. But you will also find yeah. Many who are already accomplished. Just for this reason. Retreat. Nice. And and if you go up to them, then you'll get the level. And now when you mouse over it, it'll show level three. Um, that'll probably be level three as well. Yes. Might even be level five. If it's level five, we can't do it. There ain't no way with an army this week. Doom, doom. I do like the slow, simmering buildup of uh, of a hard difficulty on this game. What happens if I hit control S? Ooh, it brings me here. We'll call this LP mid. Yeah. Yes. All right, we're doing okay. Let's check to make sure it's not level five. Yeah, it's level three, that's fine. So as far as I'm concerned, we've got this and this. That'll be worth taking. Uh, maybe that'll probably be level five, yes. but uh, well, that should be okay. Let's try it. Level three is a little bit tougher, but we'll gain more experience. Yes. So, okay, now that I don't like. This is these are jokes. They're they're nothing serious. And then the flame berserkers are are potentially the most devastating. But if we can just get Alfred. He should be able to defend against the Flame Berserkers quite well, right? 8 to 10? That's 18. Now, what did he actually do? You have to be careful with fire, because... Ugh. Only 3 damage, that's good. And the other one sounded like a, a, a buff on one of these guys, maybe? It definitely sounded like she cast a spell, but who did she buff? Or did she do something to one of my guys? I don't know. There's a, there's a couple of really powerful fire spells that um, more or less, I think it's called heat armor or something, and so really high armor units uh, get totally butchered by it. Oh, so he needs to defend. Better if he face that way, face that way, come on, Arr, come on, turn to face them, good, now defend. Because it still matters, you know. Now, the sorcerer at this point has spent everything, so it's really of no issue. We still want to kill these guys as quickly as possible, because they're hitting them hard. Yeah. Oh, son of a gun. I did not expect them to hit that hard. What have I done? Oh, my goodness. They're going to kill him. Can he hit him quickly? Yeah. Nice. And now go back to defending. My goodness. Woo! Damn, they played a number on him. We're probably going to want to go back to town to heal him. Just to deal with that. That's crazy. Ah, okay, with 14-1, everybody just... You guys just fall back. We'll get the archers to deal with... Deal with her. Half, half of the archers do regular quick shots, and these guys... Yeah. There you go. We got some fame. A little bit of crystal. That's good. Now, because they're level 3 and he's not level 4 yet, the rally isn't going to boost them by 1, but 12, 7, 60, that's still pretty solid. He's the guy who needs some loving now. Oh my goodness. So, he has 7 out of 26, so it would cost all our crystal to heal him, but honestly, I mean, it might, it might be worthwhile. Just because I'm looking at how much health do we need healed. 7, 7, oh, that's quite a bit. Son of a gun, do we really want to risk that, though? Sure. Let's try taking him into battle, and then we can heal him after, maybe. He took a beating in that one. That sucked. Alfred, Lord of Order. One thing that made my last playthrough a lot easier... I didn't record it or anything, but it was really fun. I was playing as the uh, Lord of Life, yes. and I used uh, healing magic. Uh, whereas, and I made my Lord a spellcaster, and then the healing magic just kept the army healing really quickly between fights and that was real nice to not spend forever on the yes. early part all right no oh, let's do this 
It makes you feel better. There we go. Yes. All right, what are we up against here? Oh, no. Same kind of idea, but no Berserkers. That looks pretty solid, as long as she doesn't cast too many fire darts on him. We should just hang out back here. See, that is the literal worst. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, my gosh. The literal worst. It's so awful. Yeah, they'll take him out. Man, that spell. There you go. That's why it's called Lords of Magic. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. And what's really crazy about this spell is it gets faster and faster. So you might sort of be able to dodge it at the very beginning. But no, as you can see, it's an absolutely brutal spell. Well, maybe we can uh, hang out for two or three turns here to just heal up. It sucks, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Give your opponents some time to get even stronger. There we go. Nice. How do we do? We did pretty well there. We got a scroll of chain lightning, which is worth a lot. And, yeah. No, this is awesome. So that's that's a very expensive spell, but on a decent spellcaster, that's that's a nice, powerful spell. So we're doing all right. Level four. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Yes. Now, my thoughts are, we go for the Great Temple pretty quick here. Maybe we'll heal up, hit these on the way, and then the Great Temple is up here. But yeah, by the time we get there. Um, I don't know if we'll gain another level. Maybe we can get these crossbowmen to level 3. And either way, I'm pretty confident that we can take whatever the Great Temple is going to throw at us at this point. We're a pretty sturdy bunch. When I was playing the, the Elves of Light, it was not such a sturdy bunch. I mean, these guys don't go down as easy. They're all wearing heavy armor. Slow as all heck. So what do we have here? Yeah, small outpost, level 3. There's the Great Temple. Oh, there's a gold mine. We won't take that for sure. That should be level two. Yeah, most of the close gold mines, anything crystal or gold mines that are close. Oh, brewery. Hopefully that's level two as well. Yes. Those will be great to take. Uh, at this point, I want to. I want them to heal, so let's spend two more turns. And then we'll just try to be more careful. As long as we take the Great Temple before turn 14, we'll be pretty solid. And we can wait. Let's see how this next turn goes. Maybe we wait one more turn, and then use our crystals to heal anything that we still need to heal. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Ooh, that's really good. Loving me these breweries. What's that? That's level four, maybe? Yeah, nice. All right, this is looking pretty good. I think water must be to the south of us. Maybe death is this way. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I don't quite remember the map. I don't play these guys very, very often. All right, we'll let them heal for one more turn. Without moving. Yeah, so we have we have order, fire, life, earth, chaos, water, death, and air. And what's really nice is the way they have it. And then, of course, there's we're order. Yeah. Yeah. That little uh, empty one, that's all the uh, miscellaneous-type characters moving. Yeah, so we'll be okay. We honestly probably want to head this way. So, like, one... So, that'll be two turns. That'll be 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe. Boy, oh, boy. Maybe we can get that to work. In we go. We're going to go to the temple. To see your face again. What is your wish? There we go. That's pretty solid. Let's do that, actually. Two, three, temple. Maybe we can do that. Now, what's this up here? Five? Oh, is that fire to the left of us? Well, well, we'll go exploring. 
We definitely don't have that much time, so this will be nice because if we take this right away, it'll give us two gold per turn. And that's that's a great way to be. Minus four instead of minus six, I'll take it. It's a little bit of a shame that it's ale instead of gold, because gold is the obviously the resource you need the most of. I say obviously. I mean, it's, it's because upgrades for towns, uh, they tend to cost more in gold than other things. I'll be mad. Maybe I should have healed them. Who knows? Maybe I should have healed them. There we go. What are we up against? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that sucks. For honor and glory. Uh. Just everybody, come on! Slight, slight delays on them so that the melee guys go first. Not that it really matters. We might even be able to get away with like waiting, but part of me really wants to just get this guy in on. Him. Oh yeah, we dodged that arrow. Did you see that? That was fantastic. Okay. Okay, now you might want to defend a little. Yeah, there we go. Just defend. Oh, don't turn your back, you idiot. Doofus. Okay, as long as he's defending. Nice. I think these are the guys we want to take out. He's just going to block their shots while these guys take those guys out. Now, as these guys get closer, I mean, that's what I was expecting. Now, they're, they're changing who they're shooting at for sure. So, he's going to go defend. Oh, son of a gun. Are you kidding me? They're all targeting him. Yes. Well, screw you guys. Oh my goodness. Just crush him. Get in, get in, get in. Okay. They're shooting this guy. He's defending. You'll know they're defending because they sometimes do this awkward, like, moonwalk thing. But it works. And we took a beating. Eh. We took a mad beating there. Maybe this won't be so easy taking the Great Temple if we don't have all three crossbowmen up. Especially as long as we keep fighting stupid stacks of archers like that. Ah, it's so frustrating. There we go. We got the third guy back. That's good. All right. I'm happy to do this up here. And then that'll give us, what, maybe two turns of healing? Let's try it. Oh my goodness, another stack of archers. That's fine, that's fine. Screw them. This time we're just sending him in. The rock hurler, I'm not really worried about. They're like the one of the weakest um, range units. It's interesting, I know there's a, a mod for this game that basically replaces, is, makes it so that the rock hurlers have three in their units, because that would make them a little bit tougher. It's just the weirdest phenomenon that for some reason, almost every... I think almost every ranged unit has... Okay, put him on defense quickly. Nice. Almost every ranged unit has three, right? Except for the Rock Hurler. Ooh, how'd he do? He took yes. a little bit of beating. Maybe time to bring these guys in. Let's get him in here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ready, defend. Nice. How did he do? No damage. Beauty. Let's keep our eyes on this guy, though. Oh, I think the crossbows are going to take him out. Ooh. He did hit him. Yeah, crossbows yes. got him. How's he doing? 25 out of 30. Let's defend quickly. Nice. A couple of shots there. For honor and, for honor and glory. Let's be real here. These guys could get in. Yeah. Come on up. Honestly, it's funny. One way to think about this game is like <laughs> Baldur's Gate style real time with pause, but it's just so well done. Here he's gone. Beauty. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot the scout. Ice Sword. That's interesting. I'm really happy about the plus one level here. 
uh, again, they're going up by two every time, right? It was it was eight to eleven, so that's three, and then eleven to thirteen. They end up doing so much damage. That's already a ton of damage. I'm pretty sure uh, max, like max elven archers do something like that. They, of course, elven archers have crazy range, so that's the difference there. All right, what's this ice sword? Water, order, and death warriors who acquire plus one attack, plus one fame per turn, and plus one armor. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. That sounds better than the sword of quality. So this should be 1812, and we should get plus one fame per turn? That's that's not a thing, I, I gather. Maybe not until we get the great temple. Okay. I guess we could. We could take two turns here and then hit the great temple. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, here we're just going to find out what the border is. I'm thinking this we must be on the border of, of uh, fire on that side anyways. All right, because all this lava here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I think if we, if we wait two turns and then hit the Great Temple, it'll be turn 13. We'll get the Great Temple right before turn 14. And now why is this important? Because every seven days is the end of a week. Every seventh day, I should say, is the end of a week, and you get new followers. So, if we get it on the 13th, then on the very next turn, we'll get a new group of followers, which is pretty exciting. Now, we're just sending this guy over to the village. There should be a village here. There it is. Oh, it's water! Ha! Huh. Nice. So, the people of water are over there. That's good to know. Okay, well, if that's water, then that tells me a little bit, because I know where everybody else is, roughly. This must head down to Earth over here. Um, I'm assuming it, this must also connect with death and something else. Chaos is where? Air? We're going to have to get air up here, maybe air, and then on the other side of air is chaos. Yeah, that makes sort of sense. Okay, cool. One more quick turn, and then the Great Temple. And then after the Great Temple, I'm going to end the episode there. That'll be exciting. That'll be a nice little cliffhanger for you. But the gameplay isn't going to change too, too much, other than... Um, there we go. Got some good healing in there. Nice. Uh, the, the biggest change is you get your stronghold, and then you can start dropping followers. Eventually, I like to... Eventually, I like to upgrade all the buildings. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get a mage, so that'll be a new change for us. We do have a single spell here, Righteous Bolt. Um, I guess that's all the mage can be able to use. Not a huge help, but the order spells get really good once you learn them. So you'll see what I mean in a sec. Let's go ahead and, and save this as LP Temple. Beautiful. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Are you ready for a war, lads? You stand before the great temple of order, venerated sanctum of the Archon people. Once a place of serenity, it is now one of utter despair, for it has been overrun by wicked and loathsome creatures. Cleanse this holy place of its vile usurpers, and you will be a legend among the Archons, who will honor you with a mighty citadel. Ooh, here we go. Yes. Love those loading times, eh? It's like the opposite of Total War. Okay, so level one, that's easy. There's a bat, which is a scout, so nothing to worry about. The shade is probably the most annoying here. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, the shades are really annoying. The orcs are a little bit annoying because that's kind of a high-level orc. And the trolls are also very annoying. So, how are we going to handle this? I'm really genuinely not that sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Do they start attacking? They don't. They line up. Okay, that's nice. That at least is nice. Now... Yeah. Yeah, the trolls are a bigger priority than the orcs for killing. Even though they've got higher defense, but that, that attack is pretty... The, the archers are not a big concern. The trolls are a bigger concern, and then the death shades. All right. Well. Okay. Crossbows, red crossbows, ready. I want the crossbows here. I want the Roll. footman here, Move. and I want him I'm on here. My way. Let's do a quick rally. Yes, yeah, so that'll help. 13-8 is pretty solid. Yeah, 13-8 is very solid, actually. Especially when you consider they have 20 hit points. I mean, they're almost, you know, 13-8 for 20 hit points. It's much better than the orcs. They might as well be trolls. Yeah, they're basically trolls, but a little bit stronger. That's pretty impressive. 
Especially when you compare it to a bunch of other factions. Now, I'm not 100% sure how best to pull this off. I anticipate that here will be a good spot. And then, if we can block that spot, bring these crossbows over here, bring him in over here. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping. Keep going, keep going. Oh, defend. Okay, he's going to defend there. And hopefully be okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it seems to be working. Because they've got quite a bit of ranged. Get him defending. Okay. Now, with these guys in defense... Ooh. Let's send him around. Should we send him in here? We might want to, in all honesty. Yeah, because they're going to start taking some damage. Oh, their shots aren't going because they're hitting into the hill here. So that much sucks. Ooh, how much how much beatings are they taking? 17, 18. Yeah, they're starting to crumble. Let's see what we can do here. Can you kill this guy? Yeah, so he's starting to get attacked, but he's got pretty high defense, so I'm not going to have to worry about him too much just yet. I do want... Honestly, the shades. Let's target the shades with these guys. That's pretty solid. Can you guys hit these boys? Oh, he's he's dead. So they did. Okay. Next, then. Hit the orcs. They're falling back to hit the paladin. That's pretty good for us. I anticipate the death shade will go down to the crossbowmen shortly. Since they've turned away from hitting these guys... Let's go. How are you doing, Paladin? Pretty darn good. How's the Death Shade doing? With those crossbow bolts? Nice. Nice. He's still getting hit by the Death Shade. So, keep defending. Keep defending, buddy, old pal. They'll go down. This guy's almost gone. Nice. That Death Shade is donezo. Now, that I don't like. Why don't you go here? We let one slip through. Oh, boy. Okay, luckily he's hitting that guy. He's down. Nice. Let's all just hit him. Thank you. All right. I want you boys to target him. You boys to target him. Oh, that's dirty. Who are you? Is he down yet? I can't quite tell where the Death Shade is attacking. It looks like he's missing whoever he's attacking. Is it him? Yeah. Everybody aim shots. I do think the Death Shades are a little bit resistant to physical damage. It's one of the uh, attributes you can have in this game is resistant to physical. So you want to do aimed attack. Because even though it doesn't look like he has that much defense, he actually does. Uh, yeah. Nice. We won. And he didn't go down. Two long imprisoned captives join your cause. The Ring of Protection. We get 132 fame. 10 followers. 100 crystal. Plus one, plus one. That is fantastic. Magnificent! You have liberated the Great Temple. In your honor, your people have constructed a stronghold at their capital, Regulos. While this Great Temple remains free, it will attract followers to the stronghold to serve you. You can then assign them to work, producing valuable resources. You can also install champions in the Mage Tower, Barracks, and Thieves Guild, where they will impart their experience to new recruits. Mages can now research new spells in the library, and if you upgrade the Mage Tower to level 3, you can summon the Warrior Spirit at this Great Temple. Actually, yes. even cooler than that you can summon Lancelot of the Lake but you must have a level 3 he's the real real MVP warrior spirits are dope too because they have javelins but this guy is a crazy jacked knight I think he he like look at that he's level 5 he's 2014 32 
He's the only legendary creature in the game, I think, that you can actually level up to maybe 10 or 12. Um, and then he's just got just ridiculous stats. You call? We have Senrid. Senrid and Ida, the wizard. Oh my goodness, level 1 wizard. Abysmal. Alright. Let's see here. So the Ring of Protection, I believe, goes to Thieves. Any champion of your gains plus one armor and plus two movement while wearing this ring. Well, never mind then. Plus one armor. Who needs armor the most? Honestly. Alfred. So 1813. I will take that then. This can go over here. He's not going to be able to cast it for a while, but I think that's okay. Yes. Okay. Right, because his spell points are three. So he has enough to cast a single Righteous yes. Bolt. He's so pathetic, it is abysmal. Okay, what's not abysmal is we now have this lovely Stronghold. We're going to go ahead and put all of that into the market. Well, five of them into the market. The rest, and you know, one into the Temple. I don't want to be losing anything per turn. And then the rest in the Magistrate, which increases your fame. In case you were wondering, Tavern gives you Ale, Market, Coin, or Gold, uh, Temple, Crystal, Magistrate, Fame. And now the reason that I want to do this is because on our next turn, we'll go through here, see what happens. As you will see, our next turn, we should get a bunch of new followers. So yeah, we're, we're pretty well off now. Unfortunately, we are paying a lot of money for those mercenaries. And we could potentially train some guys instead, but they'll be a lot lower level. Maybe that's something we want to do so that we're not losing quite as much gold per turn. Because you are becoming more known across the land, four followers have been inspired to join your cause and await you in the stronghold. Your most recent deeds have drawn an additional nine followers to you. They too wait in the stronghold. So there you go. Fantastic. Oh, seven. We can even uh, flesh out our tavern. There you go. Now, what, what this means is we're, we're getting eight, 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 and one per turn. I wonder about the sword, actually. Let's check that out. Will this reduce our fame per turn? It will not! Ugh. Okay, so that's that's bugged. It doesn't work. Sad. Anyways, otherwise we're doing pretty well. I'm really considering, even though it sounds awful, I'm, I'm considering dismissing these guys. See, these guys have minus one. These guys have minus one. These guys have minus five. It's because they're mercenaries. It sucks to get rid of level three mercenaries, but then what we can get a minus one unit instead. The art of thieving. By coming here and training. See, that's the difference. So, we also can't afford it right now, so never mind. <laughs> yes. Maybe one day. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play so far. Uh, next time when we come back, we're going to keep yes. killing stuff and getting stronger. And maybe get some more troops and take out some really big things. And what's really nice is once you start taking those level 8, level 9 places, there will be more on the outskirts. Uh, then you're going to suddenly go, oh, snap, I have some cool artifacts. Uh, so that's a great thing to do. Also, as we level up the wizard, we'll be able to put him in the like to library research? to research things like leadership, for example, which is great. I think it gives everyone a plus one attack or plus one defense or something. So, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.